On the corner of Springfield and Broadview Avenues in Maplewood is a store called Maplewood Hobby. Philip Montalto is one of their regulars. He often comes to buy kits he uses to make miniature models. The painstaking construction takes place a few minutes away in his home in the basement on top of an old kitchen counter he fashioned into a workbench. It's a hobby he took to after recovering from open heart surgery. So I decided to get into modeling and uh, this is the result of like some 23 years. And not only that, but stay out of my wife's hair upstairs. <laughs> I'm downstairs. So between the computer, between the models, between painting of the, uh, the ornaments, uh, I keep myself busy. His shelves are full of vintage cars and aeroplanes and shiny motorbikes and even a few garden gnomes. Uh, I guess this would take me like a couple of weeks, you know, if I'm going to donate uh, six, seven hours a day. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get a little tired, you put them away, you have to let the glue dry so you can't continue them. But you could say like I glued the people loading them, the cider, and the equipment itself, and these are the trunks that they carry all the equipment. So I glued them on. So this way, you know, you can handle them. Phil himself is a veteran of the military. He has a grandson now who is a captain in the Marines. And those two shelves over there, as you see, there's all the stuff that interacted with his, uh, uh, his time in the Marines, you know, while he was over in Afghanistan. And every time I've heard of, of a different uh, type of aircraft that they used, I would go out and buy it and make it. So I was like, it just brought me closer to the reality of what you know, he's faced with, and not only him, but God, all our troops. And so, as he tinkers away down in his basement, Phil has found a way to keep his brain active and his wife happy. Uh, she likes it because I stay out of her hair. <laughs> That's <so> true. <laughs> and uh, she comes down here, criticizes me a lot to keep the place clean. I mean, I mean, you know, so I have to make sure that when I go up to just sweep the floor, yes, I did. And, you know, get rid of all the paints. And, uh, you know, that's it. If, at first I said, God forbid, I said, if we have to sell, I said, or we have to, you know, downsize. I said, or God forbid something happens to you before me. Uh, I, I said, what am I going to do with all these things? He said, put them on the lawn, put a big sign and say, please take me. <laughs> I said, okay, I have your permission. <laughs> so then my son was here at the time, and he says, Mom, we can always get a dump truck, you know. <laughs>